Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Texas League. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Arkansas Travelers. Stepping into the box, Ivan Castillo. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he misses 2-1. and one. Grounded to short. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now with the plate, Rudy Harone. The designated hitter. Rudy Harone. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. This is line to left into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. Settling in now, Luis Camposano. Luis Camposano. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thompson Williams is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. In now, Cesar is tourist. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. this one up but this will land untouched and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two so a full count now don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch you could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit froze him but just missed his own Cordero patrolling center makes the play one out at the plate Jack Larson as he'll get his first opportunity in this one one out nobody on a little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate here's the pitch Hit on the ground to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. And he's back standing. Larson leads off first with one away. To the plate now, Leonard Berry. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Rip down the first base line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you've got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Payoff pitch one more time. Runner at first here, one man out. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. And that'll bring up Franchi Cordero. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Into the box. Kyle Overstreet. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the one and one pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The one two. No score here as we play inning number two. 
popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Esteban Quiros. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Smoke toward the hole. That's a hit. Their first of the new season. At the plate now, Taylor, Taylor Colway. Colway. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thompson Williams will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. be the four hole hitter Dom Thompson Williams he set to lead off the home half of the second here now the 2 2 early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side now another 2 2 this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That is good. The first baseman. No. No. Throw behind the runner at second and the runner back. Into the box now. Mitch May. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. No one out with a runner at second. Swing and a liner. And that's through into left. A base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. As he arrives at second without a play. As they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The At the plate, Jordan Cowan popped up. Patino is calling for it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Chris Marisco. Outside, two and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Ready now, Eric Filia. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Two and one, here it is. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. So now to the plate, Connor Lean. Him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Hudson Potts, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Got it, Doc. The left fielder, Colin Moore. Stepping in now, Colin Moore. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Fouls this one off. Oh, 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Striding in once again, Devon Castillo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 1, here it comes. That's ball two. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. To second for one, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Striding into the box, Rudy Barone hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Now the one and one pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Fouled off. Has a look, now the pitch. And that misses, ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now back. Digging in for his second at bat, mm -hmm. Luis Camposano. Two on, two out for him here in the third. So one, one. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Castillo rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a two run game. The center field, number 33, Frankie Cordero. Standing in now, Franchi Cordero. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the third now, digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Torres. He flew out in his last at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Fastball swung on and missed for the now first bat. down. No third up. inning here, three yeah. to one our score. Hey. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. He misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Left side, but well foul. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. So digging in now, Leonard Berry. Berry. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Now batting, now Dom batting. Thompson Williams. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last night. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Stepping up now, Kyle Overstreet. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. 
Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Larson will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now with the play, Taylor Colway fly out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. The 1-1. One, one. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. He's got it. And there are two away now. Standing in, Hudson Potts, a third base hit in his first trip. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And it's fouled away. To third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Stepping into the box, Colin Moore. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dom Thompson Williams. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. A little bit outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. The two two. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So coming to the plate, Mitch Nay. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Even count two balls and two strikes. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Stepping up to the plate, Jordan Cowan. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matt Ian, looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch to A.B. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Now to the plate, Chris Marisco looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Into the box, Eric Filia. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 2-2. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. 
And he's in there safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Javi Guerra answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. At the plate now, Connor Lean pops this one up. Castillo takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Torres. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. The payoff pitch. Drilled to the right side. Scooped up. On to first and that'll do it as they manage to not let this in and get out of hand. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Ready once again. Devon Castillo. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Now the one and one pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. In comes the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Striding forward now is the DH. Rudy Heron. It was a walk in his last trip. 1-1 one, one home. Two balls, one strike. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 ball game. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Into the box now, Luis Camposano. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And this throw gets away from him. Digging in once again, Franchi Cordero. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Cordero. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push and pull the throttle a little bit. Throwing a good fastball located and mix. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The first base, number three, Kyle Overstreet. At the plate, Kyle Overstreet can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Striding in, Jack Larson. It was a walk in his last trip. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. To two balls and two strikes now. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Bends down and he barehands it. Just oh, late. He's safe. He's safe. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. So now to the plate, Leonard Berry. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Moore is there, and he'll bring this one in. Into the box now, Dom Thompson Williams. Runners on first with one down. In the dirt, and now let's see. 
And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The 2-1. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. At the plate, Mitch Nain. Now back, first baseman, Mitch. Ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Anthony Misevich takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 84, Anthony. Digging in, Mitch Esteban Quiroz. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the one and one delivery. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Standing in now, Taylor Colway. On a line, that's a base hit. Now back, the third base. Hudson. To the plate now, Hudson Potts. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Now that the left field. Into the box, Colin Moore. Moore. Line drive to left. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit and a relay home, but not in time as he's across with the run. Wyatt Mills is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. In now, Devon Castillo. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. to first base and they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second a double play digging in and looking for more Rudy Harone last time through was a base hit outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Thompson Williams is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Cowan comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That's popped up. Here comes a left fielder, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now back, the third baseman, Chris Marisco. Stepping in now, Chris Marisco. Nope. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Now with the plate, Eric Filia. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. 3-2 pitch. 
And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The designated hitter, number five. At the plate now is the designated Connor. hitter, Connor Lean. Lean. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 3-2 pitch gets him Three. looking up around the letters. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Estoris. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. He's set, here comes the 1-1. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner, it's 1-2. To two balls and two strikes now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Here's a little chopper up the middle. There's one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So striding forward now, Jack Larson. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Runners at the corners, two men out. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Seventh inning ready to roll. Into the box now, Luis Camposano. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now the three and two pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Larson is there and he has it for the out. Digging in to try it again. Franchi Cordero. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One and one, here it is. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Pitch on the way. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The first baseman, number three. So stepping in, Kyle Overstreet. No Overstreet. hits to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Two out, nobody on. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Elliot Ashbeck is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. Standing in, Leonard Berry. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Count still full, three and two. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. So here's the cleanup hitter, Dom Thompson Williams. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was laid on it. Ready for another chance? Mitch Ney. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runner at first here, one man out. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now in the box, Jordan Cowan. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1-1 home. Fouled off. 
Runners are at first and second with one away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. Chris Marisco will be next. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Payoff pitch one more time. Pulled toward right center field. Cordero, the range to his left and put it away. Two down. So striding in, Chris Marisco. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Marisco. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch reined in. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Joey Gerber has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Digging in, Esteban Kiros. So far, two for three in this one. Yeah, and his last that bet, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. And he popped him up. And that'll be a base hit. So very quickly here, the potential tying run is aboard to start the eight. The right field, number 15, Taylor Colway. At the plate, Taylor Colway goes the other way. And this is in the air out to left. Larson is there to make the catch and that's a big out number one trying to pick things up where we left off Hudson Potts as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield set to deliver on two and one hit high and deep out to left center field and that is off the wall he pulls into second safely as this game is tied late with a run now scoring back. away from the play. Colin Moore. At the plate now, Colin Moore. Okay. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. As a look, now the pitch. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Jake Haber enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. So now to the plate, Devon Castillo fouled away. The one two. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. The second for one. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Stepping in, Rudy Heron. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Haberberg is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. Three and one to him now. 
the three and one. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. One run is scored. Here's a second runner around third. He scores as they open up an eight to five lead. The center field, number 33, Frankie Cordero. Into the box, Crunchy Cordero. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Philia is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Dowries Valdez is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Now at the plate, Eric Philia. It was a walk in his last trip. The three and one pitch. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. A designated hitter, number five. And now Connor Lean. Lean. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in the zone to induce a ground ball double play. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Okay. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over somebody. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. The one gone. The one two. Runners on first with one down. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder coming on, and they can't run it down. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now left so they'll make a matchup yeah. move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Jack Larson will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here's the 3-1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Stepping in, Leonard Berry in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. That's popped up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. The back. The center field. John. Thompson Williams. Into the box now. Dom Thompson Williams. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Stepping into the box, Mitch Nain. It was a walk in his last trip. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. A one-two pitch. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. 
This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Full count, three and two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the left fielder. Gone! It's a grand slam! So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Jordan Cowan. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The one-two. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. The third baseman, number 24. Mariscal. Stepping in now, Chris Mariscal. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So now to the plate, Eric Filia sent on the ground out to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Aaron Fletcher comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Kyle Overstreet, and they'll need him to get something going here. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Count remains full. Another payoff pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. So coming to the plate, Esteban Quiros. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Field it cleanly. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. Standing in is the potential tying run, Taylor Colway. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the second out. Now with the play, Hudson Potts. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Set. Here's the 3 1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Settling in now, Colin Moore. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So the batting order turns over now and set to go to Von Castillo. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they move to 1-0 and on the young season as this ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it because they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth. And they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. This one wraps up as a 10-8 final. The Arkansas Travelers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jake Haberer claims the win out of the pen his first. Aaron Fletcher wraps it up for the save his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The
quite a life for a ball, ball game. For the victorious Travelers, 10 runs, 13 hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. For the visitors, 8 runs on 13 hits, no error. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.